this is Love and Sparkles, and I have my Diamond Art Club. Now, this is the Ann Stokes mystery painting, so I will not show you the picture, but I will show you what I get in the cover sheet. I will show you the stickiness. I will show you all that good stuff. And whatever else I got in this little goodie. Oh, and she is going to be a big one. And, and then I will show you what I do. I'm going to save that box. I'll probably have some shit. And what I do, if I have something that is just a dollar short of the free shipping, I will buy a new pen. Just, just offset shipping. I'm going to... If I gotta spend ten dollars or fifteen dollars for shipping, I'll spend it on a pen. I'm sorry. And I actually like their pens. And you get a four placer, a seven placer, and and this one is the uh, cherry blossom, I believe. Let's see if it tells the name on it. I don't think so. But I believe it was the cherry blossom. And this is the pen. It is a very pretty pen. But that's how I've acquired all my Diamond Art Club pens. Is if I gotta spend it on, and I've already got enough release papers, but if I gotta spend it on something, I'll usually get release papers or I'll get pen. And, and do that. All right. There we go. Now remember, I'm not going to show you the drill field. I'll show you the stickiness. I'll show you, um, I'll get a, my measuring tape and I'll measure it for you. But I am not going to show you the drill field because I'm not going to ruin the surprise for people that have it. Okay, here is the toolkit, just our little question mark picture, oh my goodness, that's so much heavy. And it, all, it talks about the mystery painting, about how watch, you're watching a blank canvas come to life. It's kind of interesting. Let me see if I can get it up close enough where you can read it. That way you can pause your screen. And we're going to check out what's in here. I'm going to figure it out. If you cut them, then you can... One of the awesome little, it's a hard drill tray, the Stabia tweezers. I myself prefer them because I use them to um, dig out drills that are put in the wrong place. Two hearts of red wax, and now they come with a little red wax caddy, which is really neat. Over in my work area. Okay. And this is the cup reminder I got. Just kind of a pink abstract swirly thing. My pen is a yellow with a yellow squishy. That squishy coming up. There we go. So that would be the pen. And here is, oh, that's pretty. Here is the mat, the washi tape for it. Very pretty. And another four placer, another seven placer. And this is 
Let me figure out how it goes in there. I think everyone's had this issue of figuring out how this little thing goes in here. I'm assuming it's like that. little stopper for the... There it goes. And drill... Uh, Nix calls this size the P-Row. All right. I'll put that back in there. Put that back in there so that when I start using it, I have those. I'll put this in there. These I'll leave out. I'm going to put those in my work area. Okay, now I'm just going to do... I'm going to put you on pause. For... Alright, I've got my tape measure. That way I can measure drill field. Oh my goodness. I don't want to come loose. Alright. This thing is so big, guys. Then I'm going to let you see the colors. Here's the color scheme. It's got to be a pretty dark one. It's got a lot of dark blues, dark grays, some purples, some light blue, some orangey. A lot of colors. A buttload of colors. Okay, now. There is 57 colors. I'm going to pause you for just a minute to... Okay, the measurements are right on. Now we're just going to do a little corner for stickiness. Very sticky. Very sticky. The measurement was right on 70 by 90, which is the size I'm doing now. It's got... Three ABs, a 100, a 126, and a 139. Then we got 155, one, I'm going to let you see the color list. So anyone who knows their colors would kind of know what colors is in it. But there is the color list. And for those of you who watched the uh, back site when they released it and people were guessing, I would say the main guess from what I can kind of say might be it. I'm not going to say for definite, but it might be it. But no matter what, I love all of Ann Stokes. She is my ride or die i mean i sit there and i watch her site i post all the stuff she's releasing over in england so i'm gonna get this back in here so i can put it away don't know when i'll get to this because i have a couple of events i have one in august maybe i'll get to it in september because i have one in august to do which is the micah jelena and that's on Jenny Rose's page. And then in October, me and Amber's Eclectic Journey are hosting our own event, which is Let Your Witch Goddess Free. So anything that you have that is witchy, whether it's good witch, bad witch, pretty witch, ugly witch, or God goddess related, you know, mythical related, spiritual related, 
can be used. Now, it does not have to be a fresh start. It does have to be, if it's an old start, it cannot be over, it has to be over a 30 by 40. It has to be, you know, a big size that you've started maybe for um, grills and chills or something like that and you want to complete it. But it can't be a small canvas if you're doing a pre-started one. It has to be a pretty good size one. Um, if it's a new one, we'll take down to a 30 by 40. Because this one does have weekly giveaways. You'll have to post progress pictures. With progress pictures, you'll be eligible for the weekly giveaway. At the end, we have a grand prize giveaway. Ow, my glasses just fell off. So, we have quite a bit in the giveaway department. Um, so far, I think I have six or seven sponsors. I've been working at getting them. So far, I have Day's Dreams. I have um, Dynamite Diamonds. I have Nick's Notions. I have DP with Sparklers. Um, I'm talking to Not Your Mama's Mud. Uh... I have cover minders that I have bought. I've got cover minders that I'm making. Uh, Amber's got cover minders that they're making. And then I'm still working on trying to, so we're gonna have pretty good prize packs. I'm still gonna talk to a pen maker, see if we can get a pen made. Um, so it'll be, very good it, it won't be some bad thing so everyone's welcome to apply it will have a hashtag of hashtag let your witch goddess free it does have a facebook page you can go on there and just click on it say you want to join but it does not start until october 1st it will run through october 31st on November 1st, we will do the grand prize. If it's a weekend, it may be on the following Monday. But we will do the grand prize giveaway. Uh, we'll have some lives, have some fun. May do some small giveaways in the middle on lives. You know, one or two small things. But we'll always have the weekly. As long as you post a progress picture, you'll be given a number, go on the wheel, and for that week, You'll get, you know, on the wheel. What I'll do is kind of like uh, Phoenix and Fantasy did. I'll run weekly post. And at the end of the week, we'll close the post. We'll put the numbers in, give people numbers, put them in the wheel, and then do the drawing. Um, it's going to be fair and above board. Uh, for international, I'm not kind of sure what I'm going to do because of shipping. Shipping is horrendous, guys. Shipping is horrendous may end up giving gift certificates of equal value to what the prize pack would be or if the winner thinks that the prize pack would be worth it maybe they can help with shipping you know maybe offset it a little because let me tell you shipping to these international countries is astronomical but uh we'll, we'll work on that i mean it's like it depends on my money situation you know, because right now I'm trying to get on SSIDI and I'm just living on, it's like, I'm living on what I lived on back when I was a teenager. It sucks. But uh, we will see what we can do about that to get it out for everybody. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Um, so far, we do have people who have joined up. They're buying canvases. They'll, you know, get a picture and say, well, this worked. They'll just shoot me. A little Facebook message and say does this picture work so if you're not sure just hit me up with the message and say will this one work I'm not throwing out a whole lot I mean like if it's a J wall J walls are kind of spiritual looking so all J walls work um, and Stokes is kind of spiritually kind of looking so I'm letting those in so as long as it looks spiritually um, it can be a good witch, you know, a pretty witch, a bad witch. I'm using Lady of the Forest because back in, you know, the day, they called the goddess and the gods ladies and lords. 
So Lady of the Forest, Lady of the Lake, you know, stuff like that will work too. So, but this was the Ann Stokes mystery painting. I tried not to give it away, but I showed you the colors, showed you the stickiness. The measurement's right on, guys. It is 90 by 70. She is, she is big. She's a big one. Um, and I can't wait to start her. I might start her in like September. Maybe do her for drills and chills. But uh, right now I'm doing wild waves. And I will let y'all go. If you want to keep following me. Because you know I do have different things I do. Uh, hit the subscribe. If you like my content, hit like. It helps my analytics. Um, right now, I'm not doing weekly lives because I haven't got my good internet. And I'm tired of having crappy videos because either the audio would go in and out or the picture would get fuzzy and go bad. So, what I'm doing is I'm waiting for lives until I get my fiber optic internet. And that way I will have good videos for everybody. And that's what we'll use. So until then, I'll just keep putting out video content. Maybe I'll get in there and then that craft room and do that inventory one. But uh, love having y'all. See you later. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. Stay out of the heat. It is over 100 to 103 every day this week. So stay out of the heat. Our index is up 110 greater. Stay in your house. Stay cool. Stay in shade missed yourself but don't get hurt love y'all see y'all later bye